So I've been on a little bit of a rinseless wash kick as of late because for the most part, the Mustang just kind of sits here at the shop. It gets dusty when I take it out on the weekends or when I'm driving it uh, and I bring it back in the shop, it's either parked here or it's parked at home in the garage. So it doesn't get too terribly dirty. Um, so I've been using a lot of rinseless washes. And one that I recently tried was the DIY Detail Rinseless. And that was their V1 version. And recently they just released their V2 version. So that is what we're gonna be trying today. I got a gallon of it to see how it is. Uh, mainly to see how their products perform, but also to see if they are a potential company that we want to carry here at the Detail Lounge in terms of products. Um, but my experience with their V1 of their rinseless wash was really good. I really liked it. Uh, it has a ton of different use cases, which we'll go over here in a second. But I wanted to make this video and kind of review and give my thoughts from like a detailer's perspective on their rinseless V2. So if you are not familiar how to use a rinseless wash, it's very easy. Basically, you just dilute this 256 to 1 uh, with water and then you spray some on the, on the car or if you go panel by panel, you just spray it on each panel. Uh, you use a, uh, you could use, they have sponges. You can use what we're gonna use today is just some really clean, brand new microfiber towels. You wipe the solution on there, uh, dip it in the bucket, and then you just dry it. It's really that easy. Um, and with the way that the, uh, the Mustang is today, like I said, the car doesn't get super dirty. Uh, it's just, it's gonna be hard to, to kind of pick up on camera, but it just kind of has a light layer of dust on it. So that's what we're going to be doing. This is typically when I use a rinseless wash. If it gets any dirtier than this, say the car got rained on or something like that, then of course I'm gonna probably do a proper wash with, uh, with a contact wash and all those things. But since it's not super dirty, it just kind of makes it easier to rinseless. I really enjoy the process of doing a rinseless wash. To me, it's enjoyable. I can just throw my headphones in and, uh, and get to it. I don't have to worry about using a bunch of water and cleaning up a bunch of stuff after it. Obviously here at the shop, it's a little bit easier. But that being said, these rinseless washes have things like polymers and emulsifiers in there that essentially will just trap the dirt and then uh, that way you can go ahead and remove it. And then we're gonna be putting this also into a bucket. And uh, it, the way that it works is it will pull all the dirt down to the bucket. So you really don't even need to use a grit guard. Um, but also when you put your wash mitt or your wash media back into the bucket, it kind of removes all the dirt from that. And then that way you have a clean um, or clean wash media, whatever you're using, sponge, towel, uh, whatever that could be is going back clean onto the paint. Let's take a look at what we got now that we have the Mustang all pulled over here. So a couple of different things. This is our wash media that we're going to be using. These are just brand new microfiber towels. Uh, we have a pump sprayer. It doesn't really matter the brand. You can find these on Amazon for super cheap or you can go with something more expensive like this, Miralux, IK sprayer, what, I mean, whatever. Uh, I mean, you don't really even need this if you don't want it. Uh, we do have a big measuring container here so I can measure out gallons of water. I have a bucket here that I use specifically for rinseless washes. Um, I also have a little measuring device here. It's not going to fit on this because it's the gallon of it, but if you buy just like the 16 ounce, this will work perfect. And uh, that way you can just measure this out accordingly. And then of course we have DIY Details Rinseless Wash V2 to go ahead and test out. Now the way that we're gonna be doing this is really for every gallon of water you use, you're gonna use a uh, sorry, a half an ounce of product, right? 
So I'm gonna put three gallons of water in here, and then we're gonna fill this guy up with three, or sorry, with one and a half ounces of product. And then uh, once we do that, get it all mixed into the bucket here, I will then take the lid off my pump sprayer and I will fill, fill it with the solution that's already in the bucket. So that way I don't have to try to figure out the dilution ratios, 256 to one in that pump sprayer. It just makes it easier to do it in the bucket. So let's go ahead and get to that now. So before we jump into actually washing this, now that we have everything ready and good to go, uh, I did want to talk briefly about the instances that I use rinseless wash for personally. Uh, I think the nicest thing is, is that when I'm doing a rinseless wash on my vehicle, I don't have to worry about water spots or anything like that. Now granted, we have these big water deionizer tanks here at Detail Lounge, so it's not a big concern, but even if I were to do this at home where I don't have these DI tanks, I know that it would just be uh, spot free. It's not gonna leave water spots. And if it does leave anything behind that looks like water spots, those are essentially polymers. All you have to do is squirt it with uh, some more rinseless and then wipe it dry and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it etching into your paint or anything like that. So in that regard, it's super safe. Um, I also use it on windows. I even use it uh, when I'm paint correcting. So what I'll do is I'll clean the, uh, the, the polishing pads that I'm using with DIY Details uh, rinseless wash. You can use it for a uh, interior quick detailer. You could use it on windows. I use it on my wheels all the time. I use it as a drying aid when I'm doing like an actual wash on the car. So there's a ton of use cases for it. And it's still always the same dilution ratio, which is something that is different about DIY details is that it's always 256 to one. Whereas things like uh, PNS Absolute, you have to dilute it differently for different use cases. So this is from a like an ease of use standpoint, it's super easy, right? All right, jumping into this. I do think it's important to also note that this car is ceramic coated just recently. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Uh, but we recently put on G-Technic Crystal Serum Light, and then we put a top layer of G-Technic XO V5. But essentially now that we have the pump sprayer all full, I'm just gonna go around and I'll just start on the front end here and I'm just spraying everything down. This sprayer, again, you can find these pump sprayers on Amazon for, for pretty cheap. And what's great about this whole rinseless thing is if you don't have somewhere where you can wash your vehicle, um, you know, or have access to a pressure washer, spot-free water, all that stuff is very easy to do this in the garage and really not make a mess at all. So we're getting this sprayed down nice and good. You can kind of see it starting to beat off. Then I will grab the wash bucket here. And we'll just start cleaning it. Bring out your wash media. And like every panel or so, I'll flip the towel to a different side. And obviously same principles that you would normally wash your vehicle with apply here, kind of working from the top to the bottom. Obviously we don't want to take dirt that's on the bottom of the vehicle or bottom of the panels for, from driving and bring that up to the top, right? And I also like to use these towels because they're yellow and 
it'll show me how much dirt's on there. And then if there is a bunch of dirt on here, I could dunk it in the wash bucket and it's gonna show me that it's clean again, right? So there you can see, obviously it's pretty dirty here. I just dunked it, clean, clean. So that is kind of the, the benefit right there of using a rinseless wash. And then once this is all, I've gone over all the panels that are currently wet, I will then grab our drying towel and then just dry the panel. And this drying towel is amazing. Uh, we sell these here at Detail Lounge, but they're great. So just like that, there's no residue or anything like that. Even the drying towel going over this paint, it feels really smooth and really slick from the rinseless. But that's literally it guys. Like you can get, I mean, as long as your, your car isn't super filthy, you can get the entire car done in like 20 minutes, right? So it's super beneficial that way. I'm gonna come back and I'll do the entire front end separately because that's probably gonna be the most dirty part of the car other than behind the, the wheels and the like the rocker panels and stuff like that. But yeah, so to bring you guys kind of close up and uh, give you guys an understanding of what this kind of looks like. So I've left a couple spots that I noticed and didn't dry them super well. So it almost looks like some water spotting there. Hopefully it picks it up on the camera, but I'm gonna leave that so that way I can go back over it and show you guys that those go away and hopefully test that the V2 still does that. I'm sure it does. But other than that, if we look at this other side here, you can see a pretty good contrast of where the dirt is at and where it is not, where we've kind of cleaned up until on this bumper. Like I haven't done this side of the car yet, but yeah. So that is what we're cleaning up, all that dirt, dust, debris. Obviously you've seen the, the wash mitt or the, the microfiber towel that we've been using. It's done a very good job at getting all that dirt off of it. All I did was dunk it, squeeze it out, uh, not super dry, but still have a little bit of wetness in the, the microfiber towel. And then, uh, yeah, it does, it does a really good job at pulling all that dirt and debris off. So I think it does a lot better of a job than the V1 did. Sorry. I think it does a lot better of a job than the V1 did. So that is good and that is an added improvement. And it's definitely way more slick as far as when I'm going to dry it, um, which is nice as well. Let's go ahead and, uh, and finish, finish the rest of the car. So another thing that's kind of annoying with washing this car in particular is that it holds on to water very well. So like, especially in the rear end where these taillights are and stuff like that, the trunk, all that stuff. When I do a full contact wash and I use a lot of water, it holds onto that stuff and it'll continue to drip forever unless I take it like over to our air compressor back there and physically blow all the water out. However, with using rinseless, since we're using such little amount of water, I don't even really have to worry about that because it just comes right out and I can dry it with the towel. So that is a super, super convenient factor, at least for me in my case. The truck that, so my, my truck's out there too, and it's not super bad as far as that goes. Obviously you're gonna get a bunch of, when you, when you wash any car really, bunch of dripping from the mirrors, things like that. But I don't know why this car just wants to hold on to stuff so much. Uh, but this definitely, like I said, it just makes it a much more 
enjoyable experience for me at least all around. I don't have the, the loud noises of a pressure washer going. I don't have to worry about pulling a hose behind me and, uh, and getting all that set up. So yeah, I just, I really like it. So we are all done. The car looks really good, super clean. All the dust and the dirt is completely removed. No streaking or anything like that. And yeah, it looks really, really good. But I did want to show you guys the little water spots, a little spotting on the window there from when we sprayed it. I'm just gonna take the, the drying towel and kind of clean that up. Get it in frame. You can see that just going over it with the drying towel, that's a little damp, completely takes all that stuff out, which is exactly what we want. So, I don't know, man, I'll, overall, I'm very happy with, uh, with the improvements made on the V2. I think it's a welcome upgrade. I think that I think that DIY detail, the rinseless is probably in the top five, definitely in the top five of rinseless washes out there on the market. I haven't tried them all personally, but that's kind of what I've been doing as of late is just getting a bunch of different products and trying them out. It's fun to do for me at least. Plus I have, you know, the space here to, uh, to be able to, to test a lot of these things. Well, there we have it guys. Um, we have the Mustang all cleaned up. We are finished with the rinseless wash on it. And I definitely think that the upgrade from the V1 to the V2 is very welcome. I think it's definitely a better product overall. Um, I definitely have a couple of other ones that I wanna try out. Um, but and if I were to compare that to something like uh, PNS Absolute or Optimum No Rinse, I definitely think that the DIY rinseless V2 has the upper hand when comparing those against each other. Uh, it's just more user friendly. It feels better. It's definitely more slick. Uh, it does a good job at pulling the dirt off your wash media and uh, making sure that when you go and touch the panel with that media again, that you have a completely clean surface. So uh, overall, I give it a thumbs up. That is going to wrap up our video today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one.